guys, so we are still in New York. Just got some gas. We're gonna make a left here. So we're still in New York at this point. Got about another 30 miles to get there. And we actually I just topped off. I did about 101 miles so far. Not too bad. Topped off. Uh, got a cold uh, wowda. Got a little cold water and a little cookie snack. I mean, the guys had wings last night, so I'm really not. Uh, I really, I just can't eat much today. I just don't have it. I don't. I just can't. I don't have the appetite at all. I'm just. this thing let me just adjust this because I don't I want it to take the way that brings me and we got gravel here I could have stayed in New York, but I figured, you know what? I want to go through Massachusetts. I want to go through riding Vermont a little bit longer than this way. This way kind of brings me up and then shoots me over into, into Vermont, which is nice. I would like to get some strawberries. But um, I want to be in Vermont a little bit longer. So I figure, I had a little seltzer water back there. So I figure I'll make that right on 43 a little further up and run that on up. It'll take me to 7 North. And I can run 7 North up a little bit. Should be nice. I forgot to clean off my windshield a little bit. So it's kind of crappy. 30. So here we are in upstate New York. I'm not sure what town this is, but it's really nice. Stopped at that gas station back there and gentleman was like, oh man, yeah, you gonna see a cover bridge? Oh, check out this one. And he gave me another one to check out. So um, I'll look it up and see if it's nearby. If it's nearby, I'll swing by and, and check it out. So here is the road that I initially was going to take. Oh, the road right past it. I didn't even see a sign saying anything. I would have just rode right past it. We're going to take 43 up a little bit and make a left on to 22. windmills up there in the mountain it's pretty cool really beautiful 
beautiful area. Really love it. All right, so we're in Vermont, right? Uh, I assume in Bennington, Vermont, I believe it said. So I just not too far away, about five five miles from the from the covered bridge. Figured I would connect up. Let's uh, do a little recording. Of course, uh, Vermont does not let me down with the beauty of just how green it is here and the mountains are just so beautifully green. It's just such a beautiful area. Really beautiful. I wish I cleaned my windshield. I should have. I was going to do that. But what are you going to do? Um, yeah, so such a beautiful area. Really nice area. Meadowbrook Drive, actually, that says. We're going to continue straight. So we're going to continue straight on up this hill. Exhaust has a nice uh, tone to it, even though I, like I said, I just drilled the baffle. It has a nice tone, but it shuts up really nice when you get to your desired speed or you decide you just want to cruise for a little bit. So that's a nice thing. It's really nice. Vermont Medical Center. Yes, I wanted to show you guys, uh, you know, one of these covered bridges. You know, I did that last one, Demerston. So I figured, uh, you know, let's take a ride and shoot a vlog. Shoot a vlog and take a ride. So I figured, let me bring him. Let's find another covered bridge. There was another covered bridge, Scott's covered bridge, but that was further off to the right. That was a little further away. Um, so I figured, you know what, I would, uh, oh, okay, I thought it was a stop sign or something. So I figured, you know what, let's take them to this covered bridge, which is a little bit closer to me. This is about an hour closer than Scott's, so it's a lot easier to get to. Um, Two hours from my house, which is it's not a bad ride at all. Maybe two hours and thirty minutes or so. Coming up to coming up to Taconic. I like coming up to the Taconic. Uh, wanted me to go up 87, but I don't want to go up 87. So. The next left on the Parkway, then continue straight onto West Main Street. Let me see if 
see if I can get a shot of that. I need a quick photo. Take a quick photo of that. That's a pretty tall monument. Star. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Bennington Battle Monument. Oh, that's what I figured. Huh. Nice. Battle of Bennington, 1777. 2020. Take the next right onto Monument Avenue. That's that's pretty cool. Now, of course, it doesn't want to let me. Why wouldn't I be able to make a right? That's what I need to do. Jeez, Louise. Bars need to lift up a little more. Bars need to lift up a tad. That way I can lock. I can lock that. Uh, I should be able to lock that right side. Turn right onto Fairview Street. All right, so I'm six minutes away. Not far. Okay. Now this part of Vermont's a little bit different because I've uh, ventured around a little bit in the upper part of Vermont, um, which was nice. But uh, this part. This part has a lot more uh, residential areas, whereas the other part where I went to, um, that had a little bit more, it was a little bit more farmland than anything else. This, you know, not so much uh, residential as, as you see here. You know, here is a lot more residential. So, today. Eh. I need a little breeze to spread my legs out. What is this? Tomatoes. The next right onto Austin Hill Road. Bridge will be ahead. Well, here it is. Take the next right onto River Road, then you will arrive at your destination. Now, let's see where it is that we can park. Should be somewhere that I can park. Not be the All right, guys, so let me just sit back up and we will be right back. <laughs> 